while I'm letting my pilchard sink down into the zone, if I see Spanish come through the sounder, I'll often throw down a metal jig. This is a 60 gram, 60 gram metal jig. I'll use them up to 90 gram with a standard treble hook and uh, I'll let it sink to the bottom on a 45 degree angle and wind it back as fast as possible. And more often than not, depending on the mood of the fish, you will get a hook up. Okay, there's a mackerel sitting at 20 meters. And he's probably eating my burley. Yep, there he is. Oh, yep, come on. Oh, he had two goes at it then. <sighs> Mate, when you can see him on the sand like that, and then hook him, it's incredible. Yes! Oh, that's the one we wanted. Come on. Okay, that jig's connected. Just got to keep this guy on now. Set that hook. I've got one line out the front. It should be pretty clear with this one. As long as I keep this guy close to the boat, we should be fine. It's just a matter of time before that jig got hit with fish coming through the sound on a consistent basis like that. It's always just a matter of time. I just got to change there feeding moods from wanting a bait to something fast moving and it's just a matter of time before you get the hook up pretty simple technique then wait till i see fish on the sounder i know what depth they're at and get my jig down to the depth on a slight angle the current was pushing it towards the front of the boat as i wind it back it's connected with the fish and i reckon we've got another spanish here yep yeah, we have oh. Ah, oh, sometimes they are hard to get <laughs> by the tail. It's pretty well hooked, this guy. Oh, I got him this time. They always give that shake. There we go. There's nothing more satisfying than getting a Spanish mackerel on a fast retrieve jig. Really simple technique. Just get it in the right spot in the water column where you can see the fish, crank it back as fast as possible, and that's the result. There's a massive school of fish under the boat at the moment. It's got to be a hook up here. It's pretty inevitable. When this sort of fish, this amount of fish come through the sounder, there's a very high chance that you're going to get a hook up. Oh, yep. Yes. Oh, that was a good hit. Solid hit. <laughs> oh, I love that fast retrieve hook up. That's insane. This guy's going to take some string. Oh, that was a solid fish, a really high up in the water column, probably up under between five and ten meters. Yeah, this is a solid fish, this one. I was just about to call it quits and go and chase another species, but I'm so addicted to catching these fish that I have to hang around, especially when the bite's on. <laughs> How awesome is that? Oh, it's got to be one of the best ways to catch any species on the fast retrieve jig, especially Spanish mackerel. And this early, early May time of the year, when they're coming back from their southern migration, they're usually a little bit fatter and a little bit more aggressive. And it makes for a really good session of fishing. So as you can see today, it's been a trial and error kind of session using as many different techniques as possible. Starting off with the floating pilchards, and then moving to the jig and the live baits, it goes to show that as the fish change their moods, you need to change your technique to find out what they want to eat. Oh, that's a chunk of a fish. I've got some colour now. This is the crucial part, the crucial fight with these fish. You never know how these jigs have got these fish hooked, so you've got to just keep the tension on. I've got a nice long leader here about eight meters so i've got a little bit of stretch and a little bit of give so if he wants to shake his head a little bit he can just got to make sure i keep his head pointing the right direction as i get him close to the boat ah there we go a nice spanish on the fast retrieve jig you can see how he's hooked really well in the corner of the mouth there and that's exactly how you want to get them it's just a matter of finding where those fish are hanging out a little bit of patience and versatility and trying different techniques until you find out what they want at any given time of the tide 